Hi, thank you for talking with fitness. Our first question is, what is your beauty routine before a competition? Oh goodness, I go through a lot. <laughs> now my beauty routine, um, because we're outside in the sun all day, I get up, take a shower with my Ava Pui shampoo and conditioner, um, and wash my face with Cetaphil. It's just really easy and clean. Um, and then I put on some sunscreen because we're always out in the sun. So that's pretty much it. And then a little mascara because no girl should leave the house without <laughs> mascara. Does this change in everyday life, or is that your basic routine? Oh, well, that's pretty much basic routine. I don't know if I'm, you know, going to a nice place. I'll put on some eyeshadow and some lipstick, but I'm pretty easygoing and outdoorsy, so that's pretty much my mainstay right there. Besides sunscreen, what else do you do to prevent your skin from the damage, since you guys are constantly exposed to the elements? Um, to prevent damage, I... I really try and wash my face a lot because we're always sweating and always have sunscreen on it. So washing and properly moisturizing, that's a big thing. If you don't have moisture on, you always get dry and like feels like it cracks off. So moisture, moisture, moisture. Do you have a favorite moisturizer? Oh, I don't have one. It always <laughs> changes because I always forget it. So I'm always going to the store and getting different stuff. But Cetaphil seems to work really well for me. It's just, it's cheap. I can find it anywhere and that's usually what I use. And what's your number one uh, workout routine before a competition? My number one workout before a competition is usually like an all body kind of encompassing. So doing lunges with overhead press, um, doing core stuff to kind of get everything going. You want your blood to flow from your head to your toes. So I really try and do a lot of different things. And if you're injured, how does this affect your training? <laughs> well, there's a lot of different injuries That's out what I mean, there. you guys um, get your <laughs> top of the pick with all the injuries. Um, I mean, I've had everything from a broken jaw to blown out knees, so it really affects your training. You just kind of have to know your body, um, understand how you need to best prepare to get back, and then do those things. You don't want to overdo it, and usually whenever you're injured, rest is better. So work out a little bit, but then take the time to let your body recover. All right.